to our secret venue where we are about to premiere the UK entry for the Eurovision Song Contest this year. <laughs> Having heard the song in rehearsal this afternoon, I can tell you we are in for an absolute treat this year. Before we hear the song, though, let's meet Molly. She's the singer and also the writer, and I caught up with her this afternoon in a break from rehearsals. So, Molly, how long have you been writing and recording for? I've been writing since I was about kind of 11 or 12, really. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started recording when I was about 15. Mm. So, quite a long while. Now, obviously, you came through um, BBC Introducer. For people that don't know what that is, maybe you could describe like how this came to be today. Oh, OK. BBC Introducing is amazing. It's, um, it's a platform for aspiring, like, artists, basically, whether you're a songwriter or a band or whatever. You know, it's really, really hard to get music out there, to and get it to played get it on the heard, radio. Yeah. yeah, it's the hardest thing in the world. Um, so this is a platform set by the BBC for anyone. Um, if you're unsigned, it's, it's so easy. You upload your tracks, you make a profile for yourself, and then it goes to your local radio stations, and if they like it, they'll, they'll play it. Mm. So who was your champion? Um, a guy called Dean Jackson. He's based in the East Midlands area, which is where I'm from, Leicester. On BBC Local Radio? Yes. So he's always been a champion. He's played quite a few of my tracks, actually, over the years. And do you know what? It, when you're kind of struggling away, doing it on your own, and you're not signed, and it can be a real, like, struggle, and you're trying to fund it all yourself, mm. Like, getting those little radio plays or getting someone like that supporting you, it just means everything. It just yeah. gives you that, that motivation yeah. and that confidence to think, no, I, this is, you know, I am doing the right thing. And a lot of people have been discovered that way, like yeah. Florence and the Machine. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Jake Bug yeah. recently as well. Mm, um, yeah. And a lot of people who have come up through BBC Introducing even get to play on the Introducing stage at various festivals like Glastonbury. That's the dream. Yeah, I mean, Glast it's incredible. Get me thing. to Glastonbury, get me to Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> what I'm obsessed with is what you told me earlier, which is you've had to keep this quiet from your <laughs> friends and family for weeks now. Yeah. And they're turning up here tonight mm. um, and they just think that they're seeing <laughs> a gig of yours. Yeah. And they don't even know that you're the UK entry no. for Eurovision this year. No. What are they going to be like? I've got no idea. I'm quite scared. <laughs> They don't know anything at all? No. They, they, some of them are getting a bit suspicious because I've been quite pushy, particularly my family from back home in Leicester. I mean, obviously, I'm gigging all the time. Mm. I'm never really trying to get them down, particularly my 91-year-old grandmother. Oh, bless. <laughs> um, but I'm like, you really need to come to this one. And they're like, why? They just, they're like, what's going on? <laughs> what do you think your family are going to say? They'll probably swear, to be honest. <laughs> 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 um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think they'll be, like, majorly happy. I mean, yeah. they've kind of supported me since I was mm. a little girl. And I think anything like this, they'll just be over the moon. I mean, it's... Big deal, isn't it? We're going to show people your family's reaction a bit later on because I, I think it's worth seeing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see. What sort of track did you want to write for the contest and, and why? Because it's, it's important for us to say that this track has been specifically written for the contest yeah. this year. Um, well, I wanted, it, I wanted to be true to myself most of all as a songwriter and an artist. So um, I just wanted to write a song that really meant something to me that I thought would connect with everybody obviously this is a dream situation for a songwriter because i'm putting a song out there that i've written to a lot of people yeah. so it'd be I'd, I'd love to think that they they get it and yeah they feel empowered and yeah what are you most looking forward to about eurovision is there anything you're really excited about am i getting you excited for it because yeah, it's my are. favorite thing you really really are um yeah i, I mean now obviously i've been working on this I didn't realise it was such a big machine and there was so much going on and, you know, everyone's just so excited. Everyone who's been before is like, it is the most fun yeah. ever. It's the um, most fun week <laughs> of my year, no doubt. I love that. Yeah. I was really surprised, actually, when I was approached by the BBC about, sort of, you know, trying this, I touched on it with a few of my closest friends and, uh, something that really cool and I thought they'd be really like oh don't you know don't do Eurovision but all of them were like oh my god you have to do it yeah. <laughs> and they're like oh and if you get it can we come and wave our flags <laughs> right so you've got you've got like the the, the kind of approval of your, yeah. of your cool friends yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so we've met the singer do you want to hear the song <laughs> please welcome with her first ever live performance of children of the universe this is Molly! Oh, 
Let's say congratulations to Molly, everybody. How was that for you? Amazing. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, your friends and family who are here tonight must all be so very proud. Uh, incredible performance from Molly. Now, let's see the moment earlier on, because they didn't know you were here tonight. They thought you were just here for a special gig, not anything to do with Eurovision. So let's look at the moment that you broke the news to them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're probably wondering why I've got you all here, and you've probably noticed that it's a bit bigger than my usual gigs that I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, basically, I've written a song, and I, I really like it, and um, some other people like it. So it's going to be um, the UK entry for Eurovision 2014. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so an emotional night for you, Molly. Um, I think everybody in here tonight enjoyed the song. I cannot wait to hear it again and find out what everybody thinks about it. For now, though, I'm going to say goodbye and let's wish Molly all the best of luck for Eurovision 2014. Here we come, Copenhagen. Good night. Welcome to our secret venue where we are about to premiere the UK entry for the Eurovision Song Contest this year. 
Having heard the song in rehearsal this afternoon, I can tell you we are in for an absolute treat this year. 